Have you heard of what's going on at Colonia High School in New Jersey? Well, this is something that is definitely very alarming. This school has over 100 reports of people being linked to a rare brain tumor, and people don't know what could cause this. This whole dilemma is still a mystery, but there are many theories and evidence that could suggest reasons for this potential cancer cluster outbreak. Many parents and children are worried for their safety, as well as everybody living around the area in Woodbridge Township. Today, I wanted to tell the story of Colonia High School and give you a timeline of events that led up to today because many believe it all started back in 1943 with the introduction of atomic research in the area. This is going to be split up into a few parts, so be sure you stick around. This is all open for discussion. I would love to hear your thoughts on this as well. This is all just some research we have done on this case. The story begins in 1943 when the U.S. Atomic Energy Commission came to Middlesex County and settled on 10 acres along Mountain Avenue on what soon became known as the Middlesex Sampling Plant. Raw uranium ore was brought to the plant from South Africa for processing and analysis. It then was used for disposal of uranium ore during and after World War II. It eventually became a storage plant for uranium and thorium materials until 1965. But from 1944 until 48, dirt contaminated with the uranium ore was moved from the Middlesex sampling plant to a landfill. The plant was soon decommissioned and it was missing records about the plant's waste disposal operations. It wasn't until 10 years later where a Geiger counter was used at the borough landfill and detected the unusually high levels of radioactive material during a routine civil defense drill. As a result, the topsoil was replaced to combat the high levels of radiation. It wasn't until 1967 when the Middlesex sampling plant was finally starting to fade away. Six empty buildings were undergoing a decontamination process and was expected to be complete by the end of June. All uranium and thorium materials were removed from the plant before the decontamination process began. This same year, in August, Colonia High School opened to the public. It's been almost 25 years since the radioactive waste was first brought to the landfill in Middlesex. The U.S. Atomic of Energy Commission, also known as AEC, stated that the site was hazard-free and had no significant radiation readings. However, it was proposed that the landfill will be measured a second time, but by using a scintillation counter, which is more sensitive than a Geiger counter, and this was in case of future redevelopment. In 1976, the defunct sampling plant would soon turn into a U.S. Marine Corps training center, but officials have shared concerns about possible contamination. The sampling plant, the landfill, as well as four other sites were all tested for radioactive material. The Marine Corps site had above normal radiation levels, and the other sites also had some alarming results. Years of back and forth cleanup talk keeps residents on edge, as it's definitely very worrisome. Due to budget constraints and lack of resources, the project was pushed back for years. The year 1978 Eight brought the first suspected deaths due to the series of events. State and federal officials tested wells at a home half a mile away from the sampling plant. The woman who lives in the home told Middlesex officials that three neighbors developed cancer and two died of it in the past 10 years, despite no way to actually prove the link to the sampling plant. For the next several years, lots of hot spots were discovered nearby the sampling plant even being found in a nearby stream which caused some serious alarm. It was then proposed finally that work will be done to start this cleanup. As the years go by, it brings us to 1997 where the first incident at Colonia High School happened. When a school physicist named William Kasasher discovered a rock on school grounds. It was soon tested as part of a science experiment. The high school teacher was demonstrating a Geiger counter during class, and it gave off a high reading for a large rock being stored in the classroom. The rock contained a uranium material called autonite. The school was soon evacuated and they called in local fire and hazmat to remove the rock. Fortunately, the rock was retested and only accounted for about one-tenth of what's considered dangerous radiation levels, meaning nobody could have gotten harmed from this. But it's definitely still concerning that this radioactive rock has been found on campus. People of Colonia would still go on with their daily lives, as if nothing happened. Fast forward to 1998, the sampling plant, which still has tainted soil on the grounds, was proposed to become a federal Superfund site. This site would further go untouched for several years, and just to remind you, nothing much has been done since the inception of the sampling plant, and cleanup still needed to be done. By 2002, many residents of Middlesex County started to raise serious concerns after toxic substances from the plant started to spread. An environmental engineer proposed that a water treatment program should be implemented to prevent any future damage to water wells, but nothing has come from that. Finally, in 2006, President Bush proposed $15 million for the cleanup of Middlesex sampling plant. Things started to look up. Finally, work was being done. It was also planned to be redeveloped into a new public work site for the county. However, the year of 2022 brought the report of over 100 people who developed a rare brain tumor and they all attended the same school, Colonia High School. 
It all came to light when Al Lupiano and his wife Michelle were both diagnosed with a rare brain tumor called an acoustic neuroma. Not only were the odds both very slim that they would both get this rare cancer, but Al's sister was also diagnosed with a similar brain tumor and sadly passed away from it. Al was determined to discover the cause of this because he believed this was no coincidence. Al stated in an interview that it would be like three people getting struck by lightning on the same day. He wanted answers, and for the next several months, he would reach out to old classmates and alumni to see if he could find a cause behind this catastrophe. By April, there were nearly 94 different cases of classmates and staff who developed the same rare brain tumor as Al and his family. About a month later, this number rose to about 117 people who shared the same diagnosis. Clearly, something has been going on here, and many believe that it has been linked to the sampling plant many years ago. Today, we are still waiting for some more radon tests to be completed in and around the school surrounding areas, but many people are worried to send their children to the school and staff are also concerned. I just hope I helped shed some light on this incident. I actually have an extended family member who also attended Colonia who developed this brain cancer who luckily is okay now, but many others weren't so lucky. I just hope going forward we take cleanups and the management of hazardous waste seriously. But that's all I have today on the topic. Thank you for watching. Please visit safeairsystemstech.com if you wish to learn more about indoor air quality and the invisible dangers in your workspace. Also, share this video and follow us for more content. And again, I would be interested to hear your guys' thoughts.